Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showcasing you guys a working multiplayer duplication glitch for Minecraft version 1.18.1. All the download links are in my Discord server, as linked in the description. And also, before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe as I'm trying to get to 10,000 before the end of the year. And yeah, let's get right into it. Alright everybody, so I'm in a brand new world in Minecraft that I have made just to showcase this dupe. Um, so to do the first duplication glitch, you will need a chest um and the items you want to duplicate that's all you need um so first of all what you want to do is place down the chest yeah not like this you want to place just a single chest as needed but i'm going to place a double chest um but yeah once you have got the chest placed you want to put the items you want to duplicate in your inventory and then press the escape key on your keyboard and then save and exit out of the world uh, you don't want to close down the game just save and quit so your world saves now you join back the world and wait for it to load Okay, so this is the part where you want to be quick. So as soon as you join back the world, what you want to do is put all the items you want to duplicate from your inventory to the chest. So move them from your inventory to the chest. And then what you want to do from there is uh, press the Windows icon on your PC on the bottom left. And then right click there and from there open Task Manager. And then you're going to see uh, Open GDK Platform Binary Task, which is the one that Minecraft uses instead of the uh, older one, which is, I believe, Java something. But yeah, once you see this, what you want to do is right click and end tasks. Now your game should close and you should get a crash report and you should be on your launcher again now all you need to do is close a crash report and click play again now you wait for your game to load now what you do is join back to the same world And as you guys can see, our items are in my inventory as well as a chest. And as you guys can see, these items are 100% real, no ghost blocks. And yeah, so you can see this duplication glitch works. This is only for single player, but I have more glitches that do work on, uh, on multiplayer servers later on in the video. The first step would be to launch your Minecraft. So Minecraft launcher, step number one. And then just sign in if you have to. I probably don't have to because I signed in a few minutes ago. Yeah, once you're in your game, make sure you select the latest 1.18 version and press play. I'm not going to do that because I've already done that. You just have to make sure you do that once. Once you've done that, just close out your game and then go to my Discord server that is linked in the description. Um, and in my Discord server, browse to this channel called FAQs Minecraft Mods. First, you will have to verify here by clicking on this. If you can't verify, just DM me. But yeah, once you're in it, make sure you can you can just talk in public chat if you need any help. But come to this channel called FAQs and Minecraft Mods. Download these two mods, the Fabric API and the Book Mod by Coderex and the Reloji Download. Once you have both of these files, what you want to do is go to your Google Chrome or just go to my Discord server and click on this link, fabricmc.net slash use. And you want to download it for the latest version. I'm going to download the Windows one since I'm on Windows. And just double click to run it or just click on it to open the file once this is open what you want to do is select Minecraft version 1.18 and everything else should be fine as it is and make sure you have create profile checked and now press install and now that's done as you guys can see it's done here and then just close off the installer and now from here what you want to do is press um, right click on your windows icon and um, Open your run window by clicking on run and then from here type in this percentage update percentage and then press OK. From here you want to browse to dot Minecraft. Uh, then look for a folder co called mods. You probably won't have it because I've just reinstalled Minecraft as well. So what you're going to have to do is create a folder mods. If you have this, don't worry, that's completely fine. If you don't, just create a new folder and call it mods. And from there, what you want to do is um, what you want to do is locate the files that you've just downloaded. So for me, it would be these two mods that I've just downloaded here. Um, the book mod and the fabric API. Uh, move them both into the mods folder and close it down. Now you've pretty much installed a mod and, the, and how you use it is a bit different. So make sure you watch till the end. Now you open your Minecraft launcher again. And then, as you can see, the latest version will be selected 1.18 and just click play. And now you wait for this to load. Alright, so now the game's loaded. You can either go on multiplayer or single player, but since I don't have a server in which the glitch works at the moment, or I don't have a vanilla realm server, so I'm just going to go on single player. 
and then create a new world. We're going to put on creative just so we can get started. And yeah, just join the world. Alright everybody, now we're in the in our new world that we've just made. Um, so what you'll need to do the duplication glitch. I guess we get somewhere further away. But... Uh, I guess we'll just do it here because with this um, this is the only empty spot that I could find. So what you'll need a shulker is a shulker. And some items that you want to duplicate. Let's just put some diamonds. Netherite. I don't know what the new blocks are called, so we're just going to look for them if I can find any. But if not, I guess this is new. I think I have no idea. <laughs> this, I don't know if that's not stackable items, so leave that. Okay, we'll just try. I don't know if we can duplicate these, but I'll take some of this, some of <laughs> these shears, just put in some random items so I can show it to you guys. So, place down your shulker, put all the items in that you want to duplicate inside of the shulker, and then I'll just go and create in survival now. So game mode survival. And make sure you're holding a pickaxe in your hand. I mean, it's not really needed if you want to do it quickly. Hold the pickaxe, but I'm not, hold I'm not going to hold one for this tutorial. And then all you want to do is press to or to duplicate all the items in the shulker box. And as you guys can see, all the items are in my inventory and also inside of the shulker box. And we can repeat this process to get an in infinite amount of duplicated items. And as you guys can see, there we go, all the items are duplicated here as well. And if you want to duplicate just one item, you can also use the uh, the dupe feature just there, which will just duplicate the one item in the first slot, I'm assuming. As you guys can see, we've got it here and there, so and that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so this duplication glitch I'm about to show you might not always be useful, but it allows you to get unlimited fuel for your furnaces. And it is working on 1.17 multiplayer and single player at the moment. Uh, so this is the copy duplication glitch. The items you will need um, are the following. So some crying obsidian, an observer, a slime block, blocks of choice, a sticky piston, a lever and some carpet of your choice. Once you have these, what you want to do is make a machine similar to this. It's very simple to do. What you want to make sure is your observers are facing the right way so you follow this tutorial exactly for the observers and if the, if the machine doesn't work try to rotate it from east to west to south and north that should fix the problem if it doesn't work but just follow my steps and it should be fairly simple to do and now once you're done with the building it what you can do is simply flick the lever and as you guys can see it will start shooting carpet uh, infinite carpet out even though we only got one placed and yeah, it's fairly simple to do and if you want to turn it off just flick the lever again and you can also duplicate any type of carpet so what if i replace this and turn the machine back on as you guys can see i am also duplicating different colors of uh, carpet and once you're done with that here as you guys can see you can also use this carpet for your furnace fuel so if you have any raw meat that you want to cook or anything you want to smell you can use this in your furnace thank you so much for watching this video if you find it helpful, be sure to subscribe. Any questions, leave them in the comment section below or in my Discord server, public chat that is linked in the description. Leave a like. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.